Hello, I'm back with my second video for the day and I want to show you a very quick and useful technique of creating a water type background using Dollar Tree cellophane wrap to be found in the gift wrap section of Dollar Tree and alcohol ink. It creates a really nice watery wavy effect and because of the way you do it you never really are quite sure what you're going to end up with. So I'll just put all my stuff onto the table. I'm back and I've put a sheet of white cardstock down just so that you can see what I'm doing and I cut a small piece off the roll. It's a very large roll that you get of cello wrap and I'm just going to put that down there where you can see it. I'm using two colours of alcohol ink and I'm using mermaid and I'm using sailboat blue. I'm using a blending tool and the blending felt which I told you about. Get yourself a sheet of felt for 25 cents from Walmart. Cut it up and make your own felt. Works exactly the same and I've shown this in a previous video. So let's get started. I'm going to just dab drops of ink in there and the other colour. I'm trying to get things in focus so excuse me I'm just going to raise the camera a little bit and I will move my paper back into focus in a second. So I've got my two colours of alcohol ink there onto my felt. I'm just going to move this down a bit. Let's grab that. Move this down. That's better. And I'm simply going to dab my alcohol ink onto the paper. Now you could just attach this directly to a card like this using red line tape, which is this stuff that I get from AliExpress here and it would look very nice, it would be a smooth finish. You can adhere um, your die cuts to the surface using Alma's glue, but what I like to do is use the heat gun and I'll just get it hot while I pause and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've got my heat gun nice and hot and now I'm going to heat the surface which will cause it to wrinkle, but you don't want to overheat it so that it makes holes. And that's how quick that was. And then if you turn it over, that would be the side that would adhere to your card. I've got a nice little line there that looks like a wave, which would probably look nice that way around. Sometimes you find the ink can be damp and it might come off on your card below. So tiny little bit there. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that just a little bit more, a few more wrinkles. A few more bubble bits going on there. I quite like that. I'm going to turn that over. This is the side that I've got my ink on and I'm just going to dab it again and I'm happy with that and if I can get a close-up you can see all of the pools and the wrinkles there. If I put it on this cardstock so it's quite difficult because of the light and you would turn it so that the alcohol ink section was face down to the card and what I'm going to do is just um, put some red line tape onto a piece of cardstock and trim this up for you. Okay I briefly showed the red line tape on there 
and I've now peeled the um, the red backer off and this is all very sticky. I'm going to take the piece that I just made and decide which bits that I like and I quite like that big crease there and I'm just going to smooth that straight down on top of the red line tape. Pick it up and you simply cut the excess away up to the cardstock using your scissors and I'll be back. Okay so I finished cutting it out and you can see that I just trimmed it all to uh, match the outside of the cardstock that I was using. Let's see if I can get close up without being too blurred there. You get lovely ripples and wrinkles and it's great for mermaids and starfish and you can even drizzle a little bit of Elmer's glue on there and put some glitter if you want some sparkle. So that is a very quick watery background using Dollar Tree um, cello wrap which as I said before is in the gift wrap section. And this is my card that I made earlier using a fish. And all links to the products will be below. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.